Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the December January Clean Beauty Box. It features one of my favorite brands, a brand that I have been working with actually for many years now. I have several favorites from them that hold a special place in my skincare collection. Um, I just want to say that we put up our Christmas tree last night. Um, we have not decorated it though because my older son who has been actually in Ireland for I think over two months now, he is coming back on December 1st so we are going to wait till he comes home and have that you know family ritual together so I just wanted to mention that if you notice there are no uh, ornaments on our Christmas tree so let's go ahead and jump into this box because it is really really special so like I said it's the clean beauty box for December and January um, I want to talk really quickly about this artist collaboration the clean beauty box collaborates with an artist for each box that they do the design comes on the outside of the box we also get this information booklet inside every box that has the artist design on it. The artist this time is Beja Strajeka. She is originally from Poland, which she has in common with the creator of the products inside this box. Uh, she lives in Michigan and watercolor is her favorite medium. So I think this is just really beautiful, kind of peaceful and calming. We all need that right now. And then of course, when you open it up, it gives you information about all the products, a little bit more about the brand and then the artist. So let's go ahead and talk about who the brand is that's being featured in this box. And it is none other than Earthwise Beauty. When I found out from Claire, who owns the Clean Beauty Box, when she told me that it was going to be Earthwise Beauty, I almost fell out of my chair in excitement. I just can't believe how amazing these boxes are doing just for the year of 2020. I know this year has been kind of crappy, but for skincare, it has been amazing. So yeah, when Claire told me, I was just so excited to be able to talk more about Earthwise Beauty with you all. If you don't know much about Earthwise Beauty, the creator behind Earthwise Beauty is Ava. Like I said, she's originally from Poland and she lives in Spokane, Washington now. She has a really deep, profound, rooted knowledge in herbal healing as well as aromatherapy. Everything that she creates is small batched and unrefined plant-based ingredients. This box retails for $146. The first product I'm gonna to talk to you about is a very new release from Earthwise Beauty. So I'm really excited to talk to you guys about it. Imhotep's Balsam Face Mask retails for $60 for 32 grams. And it is a ultra healing, restorative, nurturing type of mask. And it's really interesting. I've never heard anybody refer to a face mask as a compress, but I love that language that Ava is using to describe this, an ultra healing, restorative compress. So I just absolutely love that because it really gives you an idea of Ava's inspiration behind this mask, which really calls on ancient herbal wisdom, Western herbalism, and I just, I'm just excited to jump into this with you. So it's called Imhotep's balsam because uh, Imhotep was the Egyptian god of medicine and healing. Uh, this is recommended for dry and sensitive skin. Uh, the first ingredient in here is aloe leaf powder. So right off the bat, that's a humectant for your oh, skin. I just want to mention that this is actually a dry mask. So a lot of times in dry masks, uh, clay will play a prominent role in it, which is not a bad thing. Um, as long as for me, myself, if there are other ingredients there that are going to provide moisture or hydration um, I can do fine with a clay mask but I just think it's interesting to note that there is no clay in here and that the first ingredient is the aloe leaf powder so let's talk about another really important ingredient that's in here which is birch bark birch bark has been revered by traditional healers for its stimulating and purifying powers it is high in betulinic acid which can stimulate collagen wound healing and skin regeneration it also inhibits elastase, and elastase is an enzyme that can degrade the skin's elastin. So of course that's gonna mean it's really good for preventing signs of aging and promoting supple and firm skin. Uh, birch bark is also high in tannins, which has an astringent quality and also antioxidant properties. The next ingredient I wanna to talk to you about is licorice root. Um, this has a long history in traditional Chinese medicine as an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antimicrobial. It also has brightening action, so it's going to be very good for hyperpigmentation. And if you are interested in delving more into any of these ingredients that are in this mask, definitely check out Ava's Instagram, which is at earthwisebeauty. And 
and she is highlighting over on her Instagram account each individual ingredient and she is just giving so much great information about these ingredients, uh, their history, how they're used, the science behind their use, and also what I always say whenever I am featuring one of Ava's products on my YouTube channel, I always recommend to just go check out her website. She gives such detailed information in such a beautiful prosaic way, her inspiration, what type of skin her products are good for. So if you're intrigued at all by Earthwise Beauty, I definitely recommend checking out her website for just amazing information. And then another ingredient that I'm really excited about that is in here is marshmallow root. It is soothing and healing. Now, marshmallow root is rich in mucilage, and mucilage is very softening hydrating and anti-inflammatory. Marshmallow root has ceramide precursors, so it's gonna be really good for protecting your skin barrier while also calming redness and inflammation. Marshmallow is traditionally used to treat burns, ulcers, boils, or just your run-of-the-mill dry cracked skin that needs soothing and replenishing. There's also a lemmy resin in here, which adds to the scent. And I'm gonna show you this product in just a second. So this scent has a very beautiful resinous quality to it. Alemi has also been used for wound healing. It's gonna give you supple skin. There's also chamomile in here, which is going to decrease redness, comfrey, which is soothing and traditionally used for wound healing, and then chickweed, which decreases itchiness and improves moisture. So you can just tell from all the ingredients in here that this is one of those soothing, nurturing masks that is not going to cause drying or irritation on your skin. Now, of course, that's the general use. You need to do a patch test on your skin if you do tend to be very reactive regarding masks or certain ingredients, but just so that you know this is created to be very nurturing with some you know, purifying, clarifying uh, factors that go into it, but overall it's made to nurture and replenish your skin. So as I'm mixing this, the scent of the resins just starts to bloom. I did put a little bit too much water in here, so it is kind of on the runny side, but of course you're gonna be able to tinker with that and create the texture that you most prefer. What I really like to do with these dry masks that you do need to mix with some kind of a liquid, and I do actually typically use a hydrosol for that. I like to add in a couple of drops of oil, which makes the masking experience just even more luxurious. I have used this mask two or three times now. Each time my skin has felt really soft and supple afterwards. It has not caused any redness or any flushing for me. So I find that I can use this mask and not really have to worry about the time frame. With other dry masks, I do have to worry a little bit about the amount of time that it's on my skin because if it is clay-based, I usually do get a little bit of flushing. I'm okay with a little bit of flushing, but I don't want it to get too drastic. So I tend to take dry masks off after about 10 to 15 minutes. But with this one, with Imhotep's Balsam, I feel like I can leave it on my skin a little bit longer, like closer to maybe 20 minutes to a half an hour. And I do think Ava recommends leaving it on your face for 30 minutes. Um, but anyway, for me, I don't have to worry so much about the time that this is on my skin because it doesn't cause that redness or that flushing. And I think it's because of just all the ingredients that are in here that are anti-redness, um, anti-inflammation, and just so soothing and nourishing. I'm super excited to talk to you about the second product in this box because I absolutely love it. It is definitely one of my favorites from Earthwise Beauty, and that is the Black Locust Firming Concentrate. This is retailing for $86 and it's 15 mils. And the color is so beautiful and the texture feels incredible on the skin. It's just so silky and creamy, which is pretty amazing to have this creamy feeling for an oil-based serum. You'll notice that the color is a little bit on the golden orange side even when it hits your skin, but the color fades right into your skin so you don't really have to worry about staining with this one. And as you're putting it on to your skin and just how smooth it makes your skin, smooth and supple, you know that it is going to address the things that it was created for, which is to address fine lines, acne, loss of firmness and elasticity. There's Bakuchiol in here, which as I've mentioned before, um, people are calling it a botanical retinol. It is not a retinol. It is not related in any way to vitamin A or vitamin A derivatives. It's a botanical, um, but you can use it day or night, which is definitely a benefit over retinoids. You don't want to use those during the day unless it's a very, very small percentage, but a lot of people just don't feel comfortable messing around with retinoids during the day. This one you can safely use day or night. And the reason why it's called a botanical retinol is because it has retinol-like effects. For instance, you know, improving elasticity, which I already mentioned, firmness, 
and that it also imparts a really glowy, brighter complexion, which I can definitely attest to, at least from my experience with Bakuchiol, as well as Moth Bean. Moth Bean is another one of those um, botanical retinols. So I think with both Bakuchiol and Moth Bean, I definitely experienced that sort of retinol glow. Let's talk about some other ingredients besides Bakuchiol. There is lupin seed in here, which is going to improve wrinkles, firmness, and elasticity. There's sea buckthorn berry in here, which is high in vitamin E and carotenoid rich berries. I think it's really interesting that Ava included both the seed oil, the sea buckthorn seed oil, as well as the pulp. And that's because the seed oil is really, really high in omega-3 and omega-6. Uh, but what she wanted to do is balance that out because she did not want this product to be um, comedogenic in any way and good for acneic skin, obviously. And so the fruit pulp creates that nice balance. It is very high in tocopherols and tocotrienols. So that provides broad spectrum vitamin E support there. If you wanna learn more about vitamin E and the difference between tocopherols and tocotrienols, I have a blog post all about vitamin E and why it's so amazing. So I will link that down below. There's also calendula in here, which is skin softening and evens tone. So such beautiful ingredients in here. Overall, I love the experience of using this. I actually can use this during the day because it soaks into your skin so well. Like I said, it kind of has like a creamy quality to it. So I can use this under my beloved Jane Iredell Pure Press Base when I use that. A lot of times I do like to use an oil that feels a little bit on the drier side that soaks in really well. And then I take my powder, spritz it with, some hydrosol and then buff it onto my face and it creates just a really beautiful glowy natural looking skin so i love that combination i love using the um black locust firming concentrate like i said under under any foundation really but in particular uh, my pressed powder that i have from jane iredell so before we close out this video i do also want to mention some of my favorites from earthwise beauty since we're on the topic and i've kind of dived into ava and her ethos and what she's all about i just want to share a few more products with you. As I've mentioned many times on my channel, I absolutely love the Marshmallow Face Cleanser. This is my favorite foaming cleanser. It is silky, it is smooth, it is non-stripping. It's an absolute pleasure to use. In addition to the marshmallow root, it has calendula, chamomile, unrefined cold pressed pumpkin seed oil. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't say enough good things about it. I love it. Rosa, which is so amazing. I absolutely love this oil. It is whole fruit rose hip oil, no essential oils. I believe it's the only oil serum that Ava has in her line that is completely free of essential oils. The color of this is super bright and orange. I mean, it's just amazing, uh, but it is really bright orange. You do have to be really careful with clothing because this will stain it. And it's not like it's a huge deal. It's just something to be cautious of when you are using it. This has become one of my favorite oils. There is no other rosehip seed oil that I have ever used that comes close to this. And I really think it's worth diving into if you have been interested in that particular ingredient. Ingredient. So let's talk about another favorite oil that I have from Earthwise Beauty. This is the Magical Babasu Face Oil. This is a medium weight oil that is scented with white and pink lotus. There's also Mimosa, Tobacco Absolute, of course the Babasu Oil. This is really good for sensitive winter skin. So when I have you know, a cracked nose, like from blowing my nose too much, if I have a cold, or I'm just experiencing dry skin in general, this is what I reach for. It truly is magical. The texture is really lovely and I just feel like I'm really taking care of my skin in an extra special way when I pull this out. It's not something that I use regularly. Like I said, I really love reaching for the Babasu when my skin really feels like it needs extra TLC. I also want to mention her teas, which I am just so in love with, and my favorites are the hibiscus and nettle. I've got the sun coming in right at me, so I know that this is going to get faded out with the white background, but just so you get an idea of what the boxes look like. Um, I also really love the goldenrod tea. This is one of those teas that I reach for when I feel like I'm getting a cold. Um, and then the Dragon's Well green tea. If you're a green tea fan or you have somebody in your life who's a green tea fan, I would highly recommend checking this one out. So I hope you all enjoyed this review of the Clean Beauty Box for December and January featuring Earthwise Beauty. And like I said, I just wanted to mention some of my favorites from her line in case you are interested in delving into Earthwise Beauty a little bit more. If you have any questions or thoughts about the box, 
box. I would love to hear from you down below. Let me know if you're actually getting this box or what your favorites are from Earthwise Beauty. I would love to hear about that. And thank you guys so much for watching. You know how much I appreciate your support. It means so much to me. And I hope you all are staying safe and healthy out there and are having a good holiday season. Bye. Thank you.